Decography skills with creativity. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos. Yeah, good evening guys. Welcome back to the Decography Design Training. I believe we're doing great today. Uh, right now, I try one particular design on my Canva. So I want to show you whether this we can achieve it on our PC lab as well. So without wasting so much of our time, let's get started. I set is my square size to be 1280. I mean the size of the flyer to be 1280 by 1280. Then after that, all the element I'm going to use is already set. So I'm heading back to my gallery right now. So come to my PC lab where I have the backgrounds. So this is the background I'm going to use. So after that, lock your background. Then the next thing is to bring out the pattern. So I have this pattern download on my pen interest. So set the pattern, I mean the pattern as uh, overlay. Then you are going to remove the color so that it will remain this. Now go to the color and apply white color. Then after that, we go to the opacity. Reduce the opacity so that it will just be showing as a kind of a tips. So after that, have it lock. When you lock it, then the next thing we are going to do after that is to uh, go to our shape area. Then we look for one particular shape like this. Then after that, or we check whether there is any other one because uh, when we check uh, the Canva, the one I use in Canva is already have that already made template. So I mean the shape. So I want to apply a stroke so that the mouth will not be too sharp. So after that, the trick I want to use, so I'm going to rotate it, okay? So the stroke I apply, let me give it white color or the yellow color anyway, because I'm going to change the color to yellow at the end of the day. So after that has been set, I will now go to rotation, rotate it, so rotate it to something like this, not like that. So let's rotate it to 90. And then we look at it. It's too sharp anyway. So we're going to stretch it. And look out. Yeah. So we can stretch it more so that the mouth will not be too sharp. Good. So we have this. So after this has been achieved, we make sure that we position it to the center and we have it locked after that we don't need to waste time we just head into where we have our coffee then we are going to position the coffee here you can see the coffee would will not allow it to be too uh, big but we we'll position it here then after that not to waste much of our time we can go directly to shadow because we apply shadow there only difference between the shadow here and shadow on the canvas is a uh, Shadow in Canva is already made template, which you just apply and uh, you adjust the direction as exactly as this. The same thing applicable to this one. You can adjust the way you actually want it. So now I'm uh, bringing my own Canva, I mean my own uh, shadow. So I want to adjust it, but there must be a shadow that will show. So I don't want it to, if I want it to just come to one side, exactly like Canva so and i want it to drop down so it will just come like that then i can add it to make sure that it show then the radius will just be blur i will make sure that uh, the thing is applying as a shadow that's the what i'm doing then after you are able to achieve that you make sure that you lock it so the next thing we are going to do since everything is being centralized so we're heading back to the text area then we have our classy then go to the font i could not find the font here but the font is already made inside the canva so i want to use a font called holiday font i got it on google just search for it then when you get it like this we are going to change the color of this one to yellow then after changing the color there must be a drop down shadow we can pick from the one we did before then we adjust hope i'm not a little bit faster so I'm trying to be the time and see how fast I am using uh, the Canva and how fast I am using uh, the PC Lab. 
so and i believe we are getting it so this one i believe i've been giving it a lot of training on this we are familiar with it so let's see and that's why we spend more time on canva compared to this so we have our coffee have our coffee sorry i forgot the spelling of the coffee so we have our coffee so the phone we are going to use called uh, extra boot this one with this font was a uh, I mean, Montezera, Montezera extra boot. I download it on Google as well, but it's already part of a Canva template if you are using the Canva Pro. So I'm going to just uh, give it a little slight uh, um, uh, 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 shadow for this one. So I'm not uh, bother it unnecessarily. Then after that, I'm bringing this to the front as an overlay. Then after placing it, it will judge whether it's really cool along with it so having this i can increase this a little bit don't forget the hierarchy so this can come down a bit then this cannot be if i can spend within 10 minutes achieving this so this will be in the front okay perfect so i can now adjust and bring it down okay so we can adjust it this can go up a bit but not much a bit so we have our coffee then we can adjust this a bit just to create a space for our writer okay this is interesting interesting go to the shape then your radios you can just cover out all this one is already embedded inside the canva so we need to just uh, adjust everything manually here so i want to put our social media icon which we need this particular shape to write the uh, order so we need to just adjust so after that we check the mouth is it really accurate if it is not we are going to head him back to where we select and we apply radius more if it is not done too we still need to adjust until we are able to get it okay now it's perfect we'll go to the color then we'll pick the color of the top one which is this so we can increase this a little bit anyway okay to so that i can rhyme along with everything so now after we're able to do that we just go to the text area but we don't need to we just go to the text area where we have our phone number plus two three four seven oh three four six six zero seven eight one okay then we're heading back to our font area so when we get to our font area we pick the previous font we are using which is uh Montezera. so after that that will be placed around there if we discover this space is not really accommodating it we can still move it and adjust it very well so now that we have this, we we'll go here and I will pick the same color as black anyway, which could be cool. So let it be pure black. Then we are going to centralize. Heading back to gallery, we have a font, I mean a call icon, which we are going to position here. But we are going to just adjust. We'll position it here okay perfect now that uh, particular tricks that canva is having by merging two things at the same time and move it so the pc lab is having it this is it when you click on it just tap here then you can position it to the center you can see that the previous one we even do we did is not even positioned to the center so now we can shift everything to the center but if that one affecting it automatically we can just uh, mark it then we adjust manually okay but there should be a space in between there should be a little space but not too big so when we are able to have in that then we can now automatically sorry automatically lock and adjust this to create space so when you move this one to the top a bit just adjust then don't forget to use your relative size now match these three, three together move it at once so that you have a little space at the bottom then after that we are dealing with the text at the top now so we click on the text then we are going to adjust 
so the text is actually cool but one thing that we did there which we can we didn't do we, we didn't even apply that there we have to apply it here so i'm going to turn on my mask there's one trick I, I discover now instead of this one disturbing the text we can cut it out then we copy after copy we go back to our mask then we enable the out the out will give us this one that we hide so can you see the tricks so we now reduce the size and position it around anywhere here so that it will not be covering it won't cover the text so after that has been achieved this is amazing so after that has been achieved then we can copy that's why at time i prefer pcl app but the two applications are working together anyway but i prefer uh, uh, um, pcl app than canva because pcl app does a lot of amazing job well when you see those that are familiar with canva too they prefer canva than any other but i just believe uh, I, I normally play my way around the two because i use canva to design i use a uh, pcl to design as well so can you see the tricks see the magic so now everything is actually cool but when you sorry sorry please so but when you see uh, uh when you can play your way around it it will be very very cool to compare and you know the tools that you can use best so now we are done thank you for watching i believe we we'll learn something from here yeah. god bless you so have your work been safe as an ultra save as png thank you for watching